Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radku Tarot and in this whole video you are going to hear the forecast for your star sign uh, for the week 21st to 27th of September 2020. So as always, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can go to my website which is listed down below in this video and uh, there at the very front page you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And if you are into tarot and you want to learn tarot from we, uh, from me, I'm sorry, uh, you like the way I, uh, I read cards, there are eight tarot classes that I'm offering as well and you can find uh, all about them going under the tarot classes section at the website uh, as well. My recommendation is to take the major arcana first and when you become comfortable with it, then go for the minors. So that being said, laid back and uh, enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well Libra Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot readings in terms of love and career, and the first thing that we're going to start with, this is going to be your love life, guys, for the upcoming week, and the readings are going to show uh, potentials and energies that you get to develop. But if you don't like it, what I mean is that if you don't like what you hear, and you don't want to follow that path, by all means, do whatever suits you best. So uh, let me finish here the shuffle and the first thing that we're going to jump into that is going to be your uh, relationship. So first card that we do have for your love life, oh my god, it's, it's an explosive start this week, especially in terms of love, all right? So we do have the um, High Priestess and regardless, are you in a relationship or not? Well, maybe those that are not in a relationship and especially those that doesn't have exactly a person of interest. I'm not going to be very, very happy of having this card around, but those are, uh, but nonetheless, the card is extremely positive having it in this position in terms of love and relationship. Uh, the next one here, uh, we do have the two of pentacles followed by the eight of a pentacles, and the last one uh, that will be the uh, page of wands. So look at that. Right, uh, where do we begin with? Uh, first of all, uh, this reading reads differently for those uh, depending on what stage you are in terms of, uh, term of a relationship. And here I would take a few moments for those who are new to tarot, um, uh, to just to say that tarot re reflects on current situations and gives you possible unfoldment. Okay? That's why it reads differently. As uh, astrology would read differently depending on which life cycle you are in because you do have different transits, right? Tarot needs to know what you are going through right now. So uh, having those cards, uh, one thing is common in between the different stages of a relationship here and that's with the two of pentacles. It is It points the two concepts of how you should go by with your love life, at least throughout the duration of the week, uh, you cannot get them more true than that. So if you are seeking for a specific type of individual, you should not abandon that, uh, that search or that chase or whatever just because you are lacking options. And that will be especially true for those that have no option available right now. So they do have, say, a bunch of friends, but none of those friends really feels the needs. And in that particular case for them, uh, it seems that uh, they will have no option available at all throughout the week. I mean, no individual that fulfills the criteria of one's soul. And that is very important here to be said with the High Priestess for this week. It is not your body that is going to seek a match, but it is your soul that is going to do it. Okay. And while in, the, in the normal circumstances, some person may be very handsome and in generally maybe everything that your eyes want, your soul may revoke it and by doing so you're gonna find that guy or that woman regardless rather repulsive instead of attractive and you may be surprised of yourself doing it so but it is completely normal when the high priest is at uh, is at place so yeah for those that are uh, extremely single meaning having no person of interest whatsoever person that they're interacting with currently it's kind of like speaks that they will not have it throughout this week either, but that will get them one step closer to the soul uh, called uh, twin flame soulmates, you name it. I personally don't believe in these things, twin flame and soulmates. I do, but I don't believe that they are 
uh, the uh, the things that people think they are because uh, soulmate is your bestie okay soulmate is someone that's pretty much aligns with you with everything and that's never a lover or, or in a very very um, petite not petite but small amount of cases right uh, that being said continuing with the reading uh, your concepts are correct I mean you should stick with your original idea of what kind of a person you should have by yourself and for those that are in an already established relationship you're gonna see that these traits in your current partner more and more uh, that being said you can expect that uh, with it, if you are in a relationship that relationship to get deeper and deeper with a bigger and bigger commitment throughout the week at least and uh, the good thing here as we do have the eight of pentacles into the third position it is that you may start thinking for the distant future while the card may not stand like that um, it's very difficult to uh, define cumulatively how the card stands because it may refer to the uh, distant future and where you are starting to make plans for it or it may refer to that our plans are to be initiated right now that had took a long time to develop so if you are in a relationship a, a seriously committed relationship like you do have family I think it's uh, that the Eight of Pentacles does manifest as the latter, while if you are uh, just with a person of interest, it will manifest as the former. Uh, regardless of that, the Eight of Pentacles is a very positive card, pointing that throughout this week you're going to have the keen eye for the subtleties and for the uh, white and red flags, and you should not ignore those, uh, those things or those flags. So you have to, um, how can I say, um, you have to appeal for the positive, but you also have to revoke uh, the, uh, the negative traits that are appearing, uh, appearing around you so you can learn to live with, uh, with whatever person you have chosen or with whatever love you have signed for. Uh, but regardless of that, the end of the week here with the Page of Wands uh, kind of seems interesting. Uh, again, the card m interprets in a different way regard uh, regarding of uh, what kind of a stage of your relationship you are in. Uh, the card interprets or manifests in a way that you are to find that you are strong enough on your own to wait for the right person to come. If, uh, or the card is going to manifest as you being open for new things around and that is just openness and not saying that you are going to start manifesting new things throughout the week in terms of your current relationship but you are going to start becoming more open and more open for them where you are going to start exploring a new horizons within the framework of that relationship uh, itself so for you libra it seems that your love life it's it's pretty good for throughout the week um at the very least here for what it seems is that you are staying, uh, getting one step closer to that dream love that everybody has within their mind that it is different from each other okay so everybody has the idea of love and it seems that you are getting one step closer to yours so uh, that being said moving next uh, we do have your uh, business and career and let's see what kind of things you're gonna do there second so I dropped a few cards So first card for you, Libra, in terms of business and career, we do have the Nine of Cups followed by uh, the Moon card. Moving next, uh, that will be the Emperor and the last one, uh, that will be the Eight of the Cups. It's pretty straightforward um, message. So those are the cards. Once again, we do have the Nine of Cups with the Moon, with the Emperor, with the Eight of the Cups. 
Uh, just give me a second to sip a coffee and we're gonna jump into the reading. So, what we have here, it's a, uh, a, a typical state where uh, you, you will be uh, quite pleased with uh, the accomplishments. I can't really say achievements, uh, but accomplishments throughout the week itself. So uh, that being said, you're going to do a really, really good job. And uh, that itself is going to make you uh, feel good. I, and I mean very, very good in a sense of that you are going to feel fullness of life, wish fulfillments and these kind of stuff that comes with the Nine of Cups. But the thing with the Nine of Cups, it is that getting accomplishments and reaching wish fulfillment, that's really the easy part of the thing. I mean, sustaining it, it's moving it forward. It's, uh, it's the hard part. Because what happens with the Nine of Cups is that, yeah, while well, it's true that you are gonna get a wish fulfilled, which doesn't have to be the grand wish there, right? Maybe you wish that project to be over with and that's exactly what happens throughout the week. Um, that's um, happiness in this, pleasant feeling that you're going to have is going to be short-lived unless you do not do uh, your part to sustain that accomplishment and to sustain that fulfillment. And uh, the, the problem here with the reading that we do have because, you know, everything is in balance and as there is a positive thing in the nature, there is also a negative thing that counters it, that, that puts the thing in balance. And that will be the moon that stands. And uh, the moon points that you may be... Um, well, it actually is going to do two things. Now, the first thing that is going to do, which is uh, more materially expressed, is going to be you not being sure how exactly to proceed from now on. Okay, you're not you not being sure how to sustain that accomplishment, how to consolidate and solidify on it. The other uh, manifestation of the of the moon, or what uh, the other thing that the moon is going to do is the the junk th the the jinx thing of why why you are going why you are doing it at the first place okay that will be a bit obscure because uh, when you draw the line you may not see exactly what's the pros and the cons and so that begs the question why even put the efforts behind um there is a reason, but uh, it's uh, way too distant. I mean, its manifestation is way too distant for any of to understand. What these cards here points, though, is that your accomplishments even may not seem, even they may not seem right now as big and as uh, very uh, impactful. They are, but they are impactful for the distant future. Say you accomplish something today and you do not face an appreciation from your current boss but you got but you got your colleague seriously impressed by yourself <coughs> excuse me and 10 years from now you're looking for job and you stumble on that big company that you really want to work at and you see your colleague there being a chief being a boss say oh my god you pulled that thing 10 years ago it was a amazing we really need a person like you so there we go. This is how, you know, something could play a role 10 years from now or five years from now, but doesn't have any much of a meaning right now. That being said, uh, the week itself is going to call to arms in a sense of that you will have to pretty much maintain uh, and put yourself into everything there. Okay. There shouldn't be any aspect or any action or, or any enterprise that is going on in your business that should stay unattained you have to attain to pretty much all of the activities that concerns you you cannot neglect nor single one of them and of course not everything is going to develop exactly as, as planned but it will suffice that is very important all right you should not stray for perfection throughout the week because otherwise you are going to pretty much lock yourself in a magic circle with no progress whatsoever as long as the thing does its job it suffices and you have to move to the next one this is exactly how the week ends now for those who are a uh, looking for a job uh, with those cards it's highly likely that you may find a proposition you may find a job uh, it may not 
be exactly what you have dreamt of and it will be a bit, uh, how can I say, messy in the sense of that you may not know how long you're going to be there or how far you can go with that job in general uh, and uh, again as with the those that are on job it should suffice for now remember that thing is impactful for later on not for the current circumstances so that being said virgo this was your a uh, weekly general tarot readings guys in terms of love and uh, career hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them and uh, we may see each other next time until then bye